Hello everyone, it's been a while since I did a Magnus Carlsen video, so here's a fun one for you. Uh, this game was played in 2010, it was played in the uh, Chess Olympiad in Russia, and Magnus Carlsen is playing uh, with the Black Pieces uh, against uh, Sanan Syurigov, a very talented young Russian Grandmaster uh, who already won the U World Youth cha Chess Championship twice. So in this game it's Magnus Carlsen who is actually uh, uh, playing against a world champion, a two times world champion. So, uh, uh, Syurigov is white and Carlsen is black. Uh, we have e4, uh, Carlsen uh, plays c6, the Karo Khan defense. We have d4, uh, d5, and Syurigov plays e5, the advanced variation. So, advancing his pawn to e5. We have a bishop to f5, uh, knight to f3, and d6. And okay, uh, Carlsen developed his light square bishop, and uh, this is definitely a plus side. But downside to this is well that uh, he already spent four moves just to develop this light square bishop. So we have bishop to e2, uh, bishop to b4 checked by Carlsen, now knight to d2, developing a piece, uh, knight to d7, we have castles, and now bishop to a5. Uh, we have knight to b3, attacking that bishop, and now bishop to c7. And now knight to e1, with an idea. And here Carlsen tries to break uh, white's center, he plays f6, and uh, well, white immediately jumps uh, with his bishop, but bishop to h5 check. And uh, here Carlson plays g6, but uh, if he played something like uh, <clears throat> bishop to g6 to try and exchange pieces and maybe improve the position, this, would, uh, this wouldn't be so good as, uh, well, f4 here is excellent for white and uh, the threat of bishop captures on g6, h captures on g6, and queen g4 is still in the position. Uh, so after this, Car Carlson replied with g6, and uh, Sjurigov played bishop to e2. And g5 now, inviting white to go for bishop h5 again, but then king to e7 or f8, uh, the black king would be completely safe now. Uh, so we have bishop to d3, uh, bishop to g6, and now e captures on f6. Queen captures on f6, and now queen to g4, uh, threatening uh, this g5 pawn. Uh, we have h6, and now Sirigo plays f4. Uh, we have a bishop captures on d3, uh, knight captures on d3, and now queenside castle. And okay, it seems it seems that uh, Carlson got his king to safety, and uh, all is well. Those pawns are going forward. Uh, it seems like White is in trouble. Uh, so we have a bishop to d2, and now queen to g6 by Carlson. And uh, here uh, Sjurigov gets a, a brilliant idea. He plays bishop uh, b cap, uh, sorry f captures on g5, uh, and now uh, Carlson tries a tactic. He plays a knight to f6, uh, trying to exploit the fact that well. Uh, this pawn cannot capture this knight as uh, the queen is undefended. Uh, but Sjurigo uh, plays a rook captures on f6. And uh, now you see, uh, well, uh, of course, uh, now the rook cannot be captured is if knight captures rook, if, for example, if knight captures rook, then queen captures here, and, uh, well, Sjurigo will capture this knight with a pawn next, because, well, the black king is in check, and after he moves, uh, this wins two pieces for a rook. This is quite good for, for white. So after rook captures on f f6, Carlson tried uh, bishop captures on h2. So he's down a piece, and uh, well, he decided to sacrifice a piece. And if uh, Sirigov uh, well would capture this bishop, uh, you would get uh, something like uh, if king captures on h2, you'd get you'd get h captures on g5 with check. Now a discover check from this rook on h8, king to g1, and now queen captures on f6, capturing this rook. Uh, bishop captures on g5, now hitting the queen and the rook, and now queen to g6, and, uh, well, of course now the bishop is pinned as the queen is still unprotected, and this is what Carlsen was going for, and uh, he might get a nice attack here with both rooks on g8 and h8, probably the knight would also get into the game. Uh, but after bishop captures on h2, Sjurigov simply played king to h1, and, uh, well, what do you do now? <laughs> Carlsen decided to capture the rook, and we have queen captures on e6 with check. Uh, we have king to b8, and now g captures on f6. Uh, we have uh, bishop to c7, because the bishop was attacked on h2. We have knight to e5, uh, queen to c2. Uh, we have f7, uh, we have rook h to f8, blocking that pawn, and Sjurigov simply plays a very simple move that <laughs> wins the game immediately. Uh, he plays bishop to b4. And uh, in this position, uh, Magnus Carlsen resigned the game as, uh, well, uh, Carlsen is already down a piece, and, well, after this rook moves or anything, uh, uh, this white pawn becomes a queen, and then rook captures, bishop captures, and he loses the exchange as well, and this is over. 
So yeah, uh, definitely a nice game. I wouldn't say this is really the worst uh, loss Magnus Carlsen ever uh, experienced, but it's it's definitely one of the hardest. This is a move to 25, so uh, this is considered to be a miniature. So not a lot of people managed to do this against Magnus Carlsen. Even though he wasn't the world champion, uh, champion yet, uh, he won the world championship in uh, 2013, so four years after this game was played. But still, you know, he's Magnus Carlsen. So yeah, uh, that's it. I do hope you enjoyed this nice game by uh, the future world champion and the uh, current two times world champion. And uh, I would like to thank uh, Karol Krensky for her contribution to my channel. I really appreciate it. And uh, I did put your message. It was a very nice message you sent me uh, with your donation. So thank you a lot. And yeah, as usual, you can check two of my previous videos here. And uh, I will see you soon. Thank you all for watching.